Brothers does not need my accolades or my improvement. Band of Brothers is already widely known as the best representation of military on film and the best miniseries of all time, probably. Band of Brothers was made by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks in 2001 after they collaborated on Saving Private Ryan in 1998. It follows the story of Easy Company, 2nd Battalion, 506th Parachute Division of the 101st Airborne. It follows them from their basic training very early on, all the way up through D-Day and all the way through to the end of the war. I myself am a huge fan of military movies, books, and TV shows, and I've watched this miniseries countless times before, and I can guarantee you I will go back to it many times in the future. I love this TV show for very many reasons. The tip of the iceberg is the action sequences. These are the best action sequences I have seen in any TV show or movie. After seeing it countless times, I'm still on the edge of my seat every single time I see them. They're gripping and I find myself holding my breath. Every single episode has a little bit of action in it, and it is an honest depiction of what war is like. It is gruesome and horrifying, and it does not paint it as anything but that. Some episodes have more action, some have less, but either way, it is always real, and if you can get past the gruesome nature, it is truly amazing to watch. Along those lines, the show doesn't pull any punches. It doesn't glamorize the war, and it doesn't glamorize the action, but it depicts it in a very real fashion. At any given moment, any of the characters that you have fallen in love with can die, and very often do die. This show starts out with just hundreds of people in Easy Company by the end is a very small fraction of that. This is a true depiction of what war is like. Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks did a wonderful job representing that. The characters and the bond they build together is what truly holds the show together. The characters are based off real people and Easy Company is based off a real thing in the war and you follow them from the very beginning as they build these relationships from the ground. This has incredibly long story arcs and character arcs that you get to see built from the beginning. It shows what happens to people when they are affected by war and it shows the bond of these people build together during during the war and what happens to them when that bond is severed through death. A lot of the episodes focus on a different main character, including my favorite episode, episode 7, The Breaking Point. This episode follows First Sergeant Lipton, played by Donnie Wahlberg. You know Lipton from way before the drop in DJ, and he was a mere sergeant for Easy Company, progressing all the way through the ranks as the highest up sergeant in the company. This episode follows the Battle of the Bulge, a battle that many of you, even if you're not familiar with, definitely know the name of. It follows him as he is just a man trying to hold his own company together and trying to hold himself together in these horrible situations. I've watched this episode more than I've seen any other episode. The episodes feel like maybe letters home, or them talking to us directly, telling their loved ones about what war is like. Many episodes follow this formula, and it never really feels like cheap exposition dumping, but more essential to the plot and the story itself. I don't have time to sit here and tell you why I love every single character, even the ones that I hate, I love. But the fact that I could tell you that should really tell you something about this show. I don't want you to think that I'm overstating it when I say that I've never seen anything in movies or TV show or read anything in books that has affected me emotionally more than this and has depicted war more accurately than this. This impressed me and it made me feel. I could go back and watch Band of Brothers a hundred times over a hundred times after each other because it is amazing and terrible all at the same time and in all the best ways. This is truly a benchmark when it comes to any kind of on-screen storytelling. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other reviews.